Hello and welcome back everyone, Anfall here with more DSX Human Revolution. We are in the Omega Ranch in Singapore. A place where, well, Bell Tower at least, as well as most likely the Illuminati organization, are involved in human trafficking and using their bodies for experimentation purposes. We've also found two out of the four scientists that were missing. Um, Nia, I forgot what the other one's name is, the Manch. And we've got Eric Koss, who's upstairs. And apparently if we can get all three to simultaneously cause issues in their labs, we might be able to gain access to the secure area where Megan's being held. Now, Eric's a floor above me. What was I doing here? Well, apparently there's a lift behind us. So there is. Oh, of course, Nia said the lift had been blocked off. <gasps> Hi! Oh, holy hell. Sorry, sorry, I put the gun away. You don't look like the other security people. Did they call you in to deal with the smugglers? I know they've tried to enter the ranch before. Have they really now? Well, uh, no. Ah, there you are. Now, I think this guy's going to be the one guy who's not going to be happy about leaving. But I'm sure we'll find a way to convince him. A six month war. Anything here we can use? I should note that um, it is a Sunday noonish, and because the weather's nice, there may be some work going on outside. Um, I did notice there was some um, some um, neighbors cutting their lawn, so you, that might bleed over into the mic. And I hope it doesn't affect it too much, but it's something to bring up. Eric, I don't know where they're keeping you, but rest assured you are not alone. Oh, Declan and I are being forced to work in the Microgen building. Separately, of course, but for the time, the time our, craft, our paths have crossed. I intend to get us out of here. Dr. Reed, I don't mean to rock the boat, but maybe you convince them to let you come by and check on my work in pers person. I feel it's progressing in the right direction, but since I don't have access to the original Patient X files anymore, I'm simply not sure I'm getting the mutagenic chemical composition right. And who's Patient X? Would it be me? Perhaps? Hey, Eric. What, what do you want? I told you people not to barge in here. Wasn't the new biochip design enough? Dr. Koss, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lim, but I, I can't be sure. I've already been in touch with Colvin and Faraday, and we've come up with a plan. If the three of you set off simultaneous explosions in your labs, it might allow me to access the secured area and find Megan. Then we all get out of here. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? Listen, Dr. Koss. Dr. Sevchenko had a plan to neutralize the GPL tracker. Yes, he wanted to upload a viral program onto the security control computer to scramble all of their equipment. 
He gave me a copy in case... in case anything happened to him. Here, I, I never had the courage to use it. Besides, we had nowhere to go. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here? At least to a certain extent. Uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. The computer I need to upload this to. Where is it located? Uh, Vasily mentioned a tunnel near the back of the compound. I think it leads to the restricted area's security terminals, but... Well, I've never used it myself. I... I wish I could be more helpful. Or even... Go with you. But... Stay put, Dr. Koss. Once I upload this virus, you'll have to do your part. When you feel a vibration from your GPL, that's the signal to set off the explosion. I'll wait, Mr. Jensen. But hurry. Huh, I called that one wrong. I actually thought he was going to be a hard case, but he was actually like a nervous ninny. That's fair enough. So we need access to a security terminal. Yeah, and I'm guessing that's the elevator to Megan. I don't know why I say that, but it's just easy enough to imagine. We might be able to jump out of a window if there's one available. Looks like it's a straight run on the bottom floor. No, it looks like we can't get out that way. Later. Okay, so if we follow along this road, ah, we're kind of going back in the... I don't want to be going back that way. See if we can get outside this way. It's not too far away, but just far enough. We got out in here, didn't we? Ah yes, a hole in the wall. Let's see how far this mech goes. Not too far. Oh, okay. Bear that in mind. World Health Organization. Sniper rifle. I'm 
inventory's full. Oh, I would like another EMP grenade, if at all possible. Thank you. Oh, uh, I've, well, I've picked up the sniper rifle. I was hoping just to pick up the ammunition for it, not the actual um, sniper rifle itself. So I guess we've got to go this way. Oh, maybe there's a doorway here. Another laser rifle. And a crossbow. Nothing else we really use, but... Plenty of options if that was our thing. making so much noise. So far, so good. We'll just get to... Oh, no. Let's just get behind here first in case that guy sees us. Seems the mech is right where we need to go to get into our office. We might be able to bypass it, but it might be worth just using an EMP grenade. So let's just get one out. We've got five. Oh, it's so one of those. It's behind a security barrier. Unless we self the alarm, we're quite safe. I wasn't. Be, I wasn't too sure if we could open one of these windows to get access. Apparently not. Getting more credits, which we might not be able to spend. Don't think there's going to be any more um, limb clinics to buy Praxis from. You'd think if they were giving us credit chips now, though, there'd be an opportunity to spend them. The disc reader. Let's use the security hub first. Might as well make our job easier for us. Oh, great. Access granted. Thank you. Uh, yeah, disable the robot, that's fine. How much experience do I have? We have one Praxis. Oh, we just recently got an upgrade. That's fine. What can we spend that on? Negates all movement induced theoretical growth. Sounds good. So what's our accuracy like now? Well, it's got a laser sight anyway, so that doesn't matter. I suppose it would impair our accuracy slightly. Right, let's drop another big save and then see where this... See what happens. Oh, does that load? Oh, we've actually just, like, we've maxed out our save files. <laughs> We have 99 saves. Holy hell. Okay, fair enough. We'll start from the beginning then. Hmm. 
We've got a ghost chief. Pritchard, are you still tracking the scientists? Of course. Simulate feedback along that route. Make it strong enough to vibrate their implants. They have to feel it. A signal, eh? Not bad, Jensen. I'm set. Sorry. Right now. Later. I definitely got their attention, that's for sure. holograms? I'm kind of hoping you are. Your tenacity, Adam Jensen, is really quite irritating. Hello, Zhao. We'd like you to stop now. I'm afraid I can't, Zhao. You see, I figured it out. I know what you and your conspiracy buddies are planning. Do you? How clever. A new biochip. A software upgrade that limits what augmentations can do. You're creating a kill switch. You kidnap Megan Reed's team to do it, and you're seizing control of the market to ensure it gets distributed. All because you're afraid of people like me. Augmented people, with the power to resist you. No one's afraid of you, Mr. Jensen. All your blundering around and childish interference hasn't stopped a thing. Tell me, have you been to a limb clinic lately? Let me guess. That was supposed to shut me down, right? Leave me broken and begging? The odds are recalled. You should be offline! <laughs> Women never fail to underestimate men. <laughs> You should have stayed dead, Jensen. Hi! Namia. You've had an upgrade. Whoa! Behind you, Jensen. Whoa! Well, I'm pulling out all the stops. Whoa! That will not save you, my friend. I don't mind going lethal on you. You threw me through a glass panel and shot me in the head with my own pistol. I wonder if I could use an EMP grenade on this guy. Let's come over this wall and say hello. You have no idea what it is you're chasing. Look at you, jumping at shadows like a scared child. The hell? Oh. Ah. 
Concussion Shit. grenades don't work on me. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, in the face! I have all this ammunition just for you. Oh, that felt good. Finish it. Not until you tell me where Megan is. You've lost her, Jensen. Men like us, we never get back the things we love. Jaren Namia. Where is your body? Ah. He had a plasma gun. There was a... Ah, the plasma rifle. I remember the plasma rifle. Go for her and introduce her to me personally in the face. So what can you do with these things? Oh, they actually draws. Okay. Look at the laser rifle. So we use a lot of our, well, we use some of our cyber boost energy. Plenty of draws for us to check out here. all these out and then we can proceed and see if we can actually find Megan there you go that's fine does this look like? Ah, oh, not too far away. Excellent. Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you! You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took Hugh to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Seraph. Now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. 
Are you sure? Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sarif here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. You never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Whoa, a bit of lag. There you go. Frameworks. My FPS has sorted itself out again. A very, very white room. In fact, it's extremely white. It, if it wasn't for that green light, it'd be perfect. I wonder if this was in black and white or not. Hugh Darrow's final interview. The fact is, Eliza, the last few years have taught me some very, very, very valuable lessons. You've had some very controversial things to say about augmentation, augmentation technology. The fact is, what's that bloody Einstein quote about the A bomb? If only I'd known I should have be I should have become a watchmaker. These days I think we went too far. It's level f level five door. Um security terminal. Hugh Darrow Arrow? Oh, it's, it's Hugh Darrow's terminal. Hugh Darrow Arrow. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, fine. Access granted. Alan Curtis at first alive. First alive. Mr. Nope. Good morning, Mr. Darrow. Regarding the conversation we had last week, the project is advancing quite swiftly. We've managed to devise a new improved prototype to better counter the quantum size effect. An unforeseen benefit is that using copper couplings make the units virtually undetectable. This will only have a require a very potent electrical in electronic virtual tracking system. Do you realise what this could mean? We're, we're finally there. Imagine that. A regular looking human being. Nothing unnatural in his appearance and still the power of billions of machines within him. Manipulated at will. So they're basically on the verge of Deus Ex. The Denton Project, I suppose you could call it. Jensen, what the hell's going on out there? Broadcast frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Nice. I imagine she wouldn't be there to help us if we had let her die. Oh, but all these people are being affected by the... biochip. <laughs> nice. I see the scientist, Jensen. I'm landing nearby. And I think Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. Is she on board? Uh, looks like they are. Hello? Adam? We're all 
fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks, but you have to stop the broadcast. I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. The Leo shuttle? Hey there. Are you comfortable like that? Okay. Magnetic ramp. Interesting. I will end this part here. We've had quite a few cutscenes in this part, so we might as well save this till next time and see what this Panchea project's all about. All I know is it's in the Arctic Ocean and that it extends all the way to the ocean floor, which is... Uh, quite um, inventive. We'll definitely see what it looks like in the next part. This has been Anfulf and I hope you've all enjoyed. I hope you all take care and I'll see you for the next part of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Till then. Bye bye now.